Hey everyone, it is finally my first night out for the archery season in Wisconsin. It opened up Saturday, today is Thursday. Um, I didn't have any time because we were busy bear hunting, so I got maybe 25 hours of sitting in the stand, but just videotaping for Uncle Jimmer. No luck yet on the bear. We're going to give it a break for a while until Sunday. But I'm over here in Green Lake County in this first week of the season or so has always been done has always done really well for me anyways I've shot a lot of not a lot of bucks but most of my bucks this first week week and a half um, we passed up a nice one last year I remember the first outing it's usually the first sit over here is really good it's 80 degrees so I'm not uh, too thrilled about sitting in that heat um, if I do shoot, shoot one I got to get on it right away because it'll spoil fast so I got to make sure I have a nice close easy for sure as sure as i can get shot and uh it has to be a big one i don't need does or anything right now the boys shoot enough of them throughout the year but it's good to be over here finally and i'm gonna settle in there i got a few hours to sit uh be sitting over that open field parker stand um it's a perfect wind there's a south light breeze coming and that's perfect that's where the deer all come from so should be a good sit hopefully you'll see something get some video of something um i'm gonna try videoing with my iphone a little setup i got because my handheld camera i've had for years that i said if i got a thousand subscribers i'd buy an actual nice video camera but haven't got around to it yet because <laughs> they're expensive but this will be fine in the gopros but the beans are starting to turn down here anyways uh which i don't know you can see the tops are all eating off a lot of these so there's a lot of deer over here. We're blessed to have this to hunt. Uh, just a small 20 acre parcel, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, get on some deer tonight. All right, I'm in the stand. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm a little sweated up. It's a nice wind coming this way. The only thing I had to worry about is anything sneaking around coming out this trail here to go out in the field. They might win me, but if anything comes from the field and cuts across in front of me like they usually do, it should be good. Um, I had to change my cell cam batteries. They've been dead for about a month. But before that, there was buck after buck after buck. And I think it was in July, August maybe. And a lot of small ones, but then there was a couple really nice eight pointers. Um, a couple tens, and then this really, really nice, I think he's 12. I think he's got a couple stickers coming off, but he's just massive. And I had some good video of them coming right, we're walking along this trail here in front of this woods. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, this, this field out here is just a grass field in front of the woods here in this corner that used to be woods. And then the farmer that was doing this land before we owned it um, decided to remove the woods. And there was a beautiful island of trees out there too. So this is like a little cubby hole back here that they and it was corn and beans that wrapped in here and it was like a perfect little area and ever since then it's it's been different there's still a lot of deer coming out here at night but it's not the same and then he took out most of the tree line he's trying to make more crop land but then he didn't do nothing with it and then they can't do nothing with this grass field because it's all rock anyway so it was just a joke he just wrecked it and then now there's some other farmer that's doing it but they, they like to come out in this grass field and mill around before they go out into the soybeans that goes, I don't know, forever. And then up top is like, I don't know if that's like alfalfa or some, some kind of green that they just keeps coming up every year. And they feed in that too like crazy. And then behind me of course is woods, acorns like crazy everywhere. But we will see what happens on my first night. Of course, I forgot my holder for my my cell phone to film, so I'm gonna have to probably use the Tacticam or the GoPro. I could still hand film if stuff's out there just to get footage. But as far as right here, the kill shot is gonna be at these two cameras, which is fine. That's what happens the first night out. You think I've, all afternoon I was running back and forth trying to figure out if I had everything. I forgot this, this, and this. And now I should be set after the first night. Hopefully I won't forget anything else after that. It's a lot of work filming. You got cameras, you got batteries, you got wires, you got cables, you got and all your stuff. 
And tonight I'm by myself, usually with the boys, it's, it's triple that, so. It'll be interesting, bow season, gun season, it's gonna be fun. Parker can hunt on his own now. Um, he's 12, he's got his hunter safety. I'll just have to be able to see him or, or yelling distance. And then Peyton will sit with me. But we got a long, long season ahead of us. This is night one of the bull season. Let's see if we can make it happen. Cause I ain't gonna have many opportunities, I don't think, for me to be the shooter the rest of the season. <laughs> Unless I can get over here on my own, because I got football, so I'm taking advantage of it. I think I've been sitting for probably 45 minutes or so. No deer yet, but a big flock of turkeys are feeding out in that green field. There's quite a few of them. It's a good sign. We always see a lot of turkeys here too. And I think I have a tag, so if one comes by, it's gonna get it. And they're making their way right to me. They look delicious. Mmm. exactly what I thought was gonna happen. It's at least four deer. As soon as they got right down wind to me, they knew something was up. They milled around for 10 minutes. But eventually had enough and circled around behind me. Went back to the south. Man, even those doors.
box in the door now. Out in front of me, in front of me about it's probably 80 yards. Feeding in the soybeans. One buck, I, one of them I would shoot for sure. But there's one other nice one and then two little scrappers in the doe. I don't know where they came from. All of a sudden they're out there. I think they came from the north. So <clears throat> that's why exactly why I like coming over here the the first week like that. Um I literally lost track of how many bucks I saw and deer total, really. I was glassing at the end there the last minute. The camera couldn't really pick up anything anymore and um there was deer all over the place. There was, all I saw was does and fawns popping up everywhere and and then those bucks there was seven or eight, nine, ten of them, I don't know. Like but there was there was a few that are really nice. I think the ones that I had on camera, I still don't think I saw the big 12 pointer and there was like 11 I think I had on camera early in the year. They had uh, stickers and everything. And I don't think I saw them, but I saw a bunch of beautiful big mainframe eight points that, I mean, you give them another year, they'll be, <laughs> be really nice, but I'd have a hard time not shooting them this year. But the worst part about this part of this property is coming out I had to slowly walk along the tree line and and uh basically spook all the deer out of the field and I, I hate doing that but there's that's the only way to get back there and it just sucks um because the more you do that the less they come out more and more at night later and so I gotta be careful here and uh pick and choose our days we can hunt or when we're gonna hunt with the wind and everything and um the youth hunt's coming up in a couple weeks so i'd almost like to, to leave it alone let the boys take a couple pokes at those bucks that they're coming out in those soybeans like that because they were all in the soybeans just eating away so yeah it was a good uh good first night out for bow hunting for me for the season and i know what's out here now i, I always figured that was going on here every year it's the same thing but uh it was cool it was a good night and i learned i gotta get a different camera i think the cell phone works fine, the iPhone, but it doesn't really zoom in very good because there was they were sparring out there all night too, and I couldn't get close enough to uh, get good footage of it. Um, little bucks, big bucks, they're also sparring with each other the whole night. So it was really cool. So this is probably going to be our first uh, whitetail video of the season. It was a good one. We got some good footage, I think, and we'll see what it looks like when I get home. But but again, thank you for everybody for watching. And as always, I just didn't go outdoors, I went outdoors.